Hey, what's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Metagate Red Fantasy. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing we're going to do is take the wheel here and just bring it back. Take this panel here, rotate it up, and bring this up. Bring that out, and bring that panel up, and just swing all of this up. Then you want to flip in the side view mirrors on either side. You want to then take these windows here and just flip them up. Then you want to come back here and flip up this black panel on either side. And then you can split all of this and just bring it out to the side like that. And next you want to open up these panels here, bring them out to the side. You have this little yellow bit that's going to go into a little slot right there. And once you've done that, you can open this section up so you can flip the wheel in and that will allow you to then undo this entire wing section, untap it from the side of the arm and then extend this. And then you can close this back up and just kind of extend it like so, and then you're going to rotate the wing out so it's sitting like that. Just got to move that landing gear and just keep that out of your way for now. I am going to do the same thing on the other side. So, again, just open that up so you can flip the wheel in and then bring this out. Slide this up, close that back up, and then rotate this around. And again, just extend that wing out. Again, you just get that landing gear. Just rotate it so it's out of your way. Make sure all that is as compressed as it's gonna get. You can just take these wings and just leave them out like that for now. And next you're gonna take these side sections here. Just bring them out on those hinges. Bring that out like that. And I'm gonna take this panel right here and just flip that over like so. So now you want to kind of raise this up a little bit and turn her head. Because now we're gonna take this entire front light assembly here and just swing this around flip it over and what's going to happen here is we have these two tabs which are going to go two slots right up here so just line that up and get that popped in so it's sitting like that and next you just want to rotate her head just kind of leave it tucked there bring this down so now we're going to untab the arms and take the shoulder pad here and just kind of bring the shoulder pads up. You want to rotate the arm around. Again, be mindful of that shoulder pad and just get that around and over like so. I want to take this entire assembly here. I'm going to take this and swing it around to the other side. Do the same thing here. Just kind of get this up and out of your way, rotate this around, and then this entire assembly here is going to swing under. So now we're gonna get the arms all situated. So what you wanna do is just kinda of rotate this up a bit. We're gonna take the shoulder pad, we're going to rotate it around and get it in position here to where this is going to tab in right in here. The tab slot connection happens right here. Just be mindful of how this is all oriented. This uh, the, the ball socket cup is on a rotating hinge as well, so make sure all that is oriented. So that just sits right over it, and then you can just bring this over and just drop it down like that. So once you have that done, you want to open up the forearm, and open up the white section here, like that. And on this arm, you just want to take the thumb and just fold that up and leave that hand outstretched like that. So now we're gonna work on the other side. So again, bring this around and rotate it. So that way this hinge, and again, we just have to be mindful here of how we have everything oriented. Just bring that around. So now this will sit up and over and tab in right there. Like so, yeah, that's how you want this little hinge in there sitting. So now we can again on this side open up this white panel. Now, on this side, you can see the hand is attached to this white panel. So, what you want to do here is you want to rotate the hand, flip the hand in, and bring that thumb down and just get this as tucked 
into that form as you can so it's looking like that. So once that is done, we're going to take these two sections and bring them together. They'll just kind of thoop into place. And you can see there are tab slot connections here. So just tab that together like so and it will look like that. And once that is done, we take the cockpit here and we just bring it up. We're going to swing out this section, rotate around, bring it up. Then we have this section, which will come out, rotate it around. And now we're going to bring all of this down. You have tab slot connections that are going to happen right here. It's also going to lock right back here as well. So just drop all that down and sit that right there. There's also a little, a little notch that this will sit into right there. So once you have all that in place, I'll actually tab in, and they can close that up. And there you have the nose cone all done. So now we're going to work on the legs. So what you want to do is take these bits here and just rotate them up. Then take the feet and just swing them forward. These are on armatures, so you just want to swing these out. You can bring the wheels off to the side for now, so you can grab a hold of this. And open this up. You don't have to open it up all the way, just halfway. So you can then split the legs and shift them out like that. And that will allow you to take all of this and rotate it up. And just get the legs out of the way enough here. Just make sure you spread them out enough so you can take this section here and rotate that up. And you can bring this little piece down right there. Once that's done, you can take the legs and rotate them down like that. And then you can close all of this right back up. So bring the legs together, close all this back up like so. Also, you want to make sure before you do this, make sure that, that landing gear is out. Landing gear there, just push that out, there you go. So now we can take all this and close it back up. Bring the feet back into their starting position. So now what we want to do is we want to open up this fin here and that will allow us to rotate this section of the wheel out and they can close this up and this will just sit up and over. It'll end up sitting kind of an angle, but just leave that there for now. Do the same thing here. Just flip out this little fin here, like so. So you can rotate this out and close that up. Just bring that up and over, like that. So now we're gonna work on these sections here. So you wanna rotate this assembly in like that. And then you're going to take the section and bring it back. Just rotate this out. You're gonna bring this back and flip up this little section here of the tail fin. So it is sitting just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, just rotate this assembly up like that. And then you can bring this up like this, angle it out, bring this over and flip out this section of the tail fin right there, like so. And now you want to take the two halves and connect them together. You basically just kind of want to crisscross them like this because they have dovetails. So just line them up and get it together like that. And then connect, oops. Get that all together like so. And then take the tail fin, bring that together, bring that together like that. And now you're going to drop it down and you have little tabs that are going to go into slots right there in the wheels behind the wheels so you're going to sit right in here like that on either side now if this wants to pop itself out that's okay because we'll get this all secured when we get the wings in place so now for the wings you just want to compress this down and there are tabs that will go into slots right up in here so just swing that in and you should just locate itself. You kind of have to feel for it, but once you find it, it drops right in. Same thing here. Just compress that down and drop it in. And it will just tab itself into place 
like that. So now we're going to take the wheels here and they are just going to tuck right in. This panel here will just rotate and swing back. See this windshield just kind of tucks up right under the wing. And same thing here, just rotate this panel around and just bring it back. Make sure that windshield tucks up right under there. And I want to take this panel right here and just bring it up and bring it down. It will tab into this little notch right here. So just bring that down like so and just rotate the landing gear up. Same thing here. Just bring this around. Bring that landing gear up. Swing this around and tab it into that notch right there like that. And the last thing to do is just open up the top of her head and you can flip out this landing gear here. Close that up. And there you have Red Fantasy in her jet mode. So now to get her into robot mode, we're just going to start off by undoing those wings and extending them out. Just untab them, bring them out, extend all of this out like so. Then we're going to take this and we're going to open it up. We're going to split it. Get to make sure you undo everything here. And just get all of this separated and brought out to the side. We can take these sections here and just bring them up, get them out of our way. We can take these sections here and open these up. Again, just get things out of the way. We're going to undo the cockpit here, so just open this up and then just untab everything. And just pop it up. There we go. And then you gotta take this section Rotate 180, collapse it in, bring this down, rotate 180, collapse that in, then just take the whole cockpit and just bring that back like that. So now we're going to work on the legs. We can take these wheels here and just bring them out to the side, take these feet and swing these out so we can open these up. And now we do want to open these up all the way. You now want to take the feet and just bring them down. There's a little tab notch connection right there. You can flip up. The toes, you have a heel spur here that you can bring out. And do the same thing here. Just get that wheel out of the way so you can bring this down. And then flip up her toes here. And flip out that heel. You now want to flip out this fin. You want to flip it out the entire way. And now we're going to take this. Bring the foot down a little bit so you have the clearance. Take this wheel, swing it in, and you're going to push this top section all the way in and it'll pop out this bit right here so just push this in you'll see it pop it out and make sure you push that all the way in so that locks into place and looks like that and then do the same thing on the other side so again just flip out that little fin and then just bring the foot down so you have the clearance to swing this in bring that down and push that all the way in like that so it pops out that white section there and you got that done and now you want to split the legs and just shift them out. You're going to take this panel here, bring it in. There's a little tab slot connection that will happen right here. There's a little tab right there. It's going to go into a slot right in there. You don't have to worry too much about this tab, really, because what's going to lock the leg in place is taking this white panel, bringing it out, sliding it up, and then it will sit right over a tab right there, and that will lock everything in place. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just bring this down, just locate that, bring up the white panel, slide it up, and then close it up, take the landing gear, and just flip that up like so, and there you have the legs all done. So now we're going to start working on the upper body, so open up her head, and flip that landing gear back in, so now we're going to take the arms here, and just flip them out like that, we can then... Just close up this white panel here. We can flip this hand out. And then just close this panel up here. We can also untab these shoulders. These are shoulder pads. And just undo that. You kind of bring the arms out. Just to kind of get them out of the way. So now we want to just bring our head back. We want to untab this section here. 
So undo that, bring it up, and we then want to rotate this assembly 180. It's better to rotate it this way, like that. And now you're going to angle the side pieces down, like so. And now what's going to happen, we're going to bring this assembly up, and there's going to be tabs and slots that locate on either side here. So just kind of bring this out. It's going to flex this out a little bit. And then just tab that in there. Again, bring that out. And just kind of get everything tabbed in so it's looking like that. So now you just want to kind of bring these arms back. Just kind of get them out of your way as best you can. And now you're going to take this chest assembly, drop it down, and you have two posts that will go into these two ports right here. You also have tabs that will go into little notches up in here. So just drop it down. And this part can be a bit tricky, but if you get everything lined up just right, it should just pop right in on either side. There we go. Just sit in place just like that. And next we take these little side panels here, just rotate this around. This section will flip under and then you just bring this back, bring it in on this hinge here. And there'll be a little tab slot connection for that right there. Like that. Do the same thing on the other side. So again, rotate that around. Flip that under and just bring this all the way back. And that will tab in right there to fill out the waist. And now we can just take our head and bring it back. Take this little bit here, rotate that around, so everything's sitting the way it should. The arms we can bring down, take these sections and just bring them up and over. They will tab in right there. Then take the shoulders and they will just drop down here. Take the shoulder pad and again, just bring that up and over. So it's sitting right there. Same thing here, just bring the arm around so you can tab that in then just take the shoulder and drop it down bring the shoulder pad up and over so they're sitting like that then you just rotate the arm at the bicep so everything is oriented properly extend the arm and bring that hand around rotate the arm extend just get those sitting however you want so now we can start working on the backpack here. So we can take these wheels, rotate them up. This section here is going to collapse up. You want to take this window and swing it around to the other side, like so. And this will just tab in right up here. Just push that in. Now what you want to do here is you want to take that fin, close that up, bring that up. You want to take this section and swing it under. It'll tab in right there and just bring that down. And it will sit like that. And you can do the same thing on the other side. So bring that up, swing that window to the other side, tab that into her back, and then you just close this up, close that up, and then you just swing this under, bring this down, angle those how you wish, and there you have that done. So now for the wings, what's going to happen here is you want to take the section with the landing gear, take it and rotate it down, locate it there, you want to take the wing itself and swing this all the way in. You then want to split this. So let's get the landing gear out of the way here. You also want to take this section and just rotate that down and then bring this up. You want to swing this out a little bit because there is a tab that's going to go into this slot right here. So bring this up and over and tab that in so it's looking like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, take that landing gear, bring it down and around. Tab that in, take this bit here, and just straighten that out, like so. And we're going to swing the wing in, we're going to detach that section, bring this out a little bit so we can swing this up, and then tab that in, like that. And the last thing to do is make sure that these are extended all the way out, and these tabs on the landing gears are going to tab into this slot right here. So just line that up, and plug that in. Again, make sure it's extended all the way. Bring that down, line that up, and just plug that in right there, like so. And there you have Red Fantasy in her robot mode.
So now to get her back into alt mode, first thing we're going to do is just take these little panels here, just bring them out to the side, undo this, bring this down, and untap all this, swing this around, bring that window over. You want to rotate all of this over to the side like that, and then this panel will just rotate, swing under, and rotate. So it's sitting like that. You can just leave that out to the side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we can just undo this, swing this around. And again, just untab this section here and rotate it around. So it's just sitting under and lined up like that. Make sure you get that window out of the way. And we got all that ready to go. Next we can just free up the wings here, so just undo that landing gear and come here to the side. So now we're just going to get this little wiggle 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 to untab that and that will rotate down. And you just want to make sure that this little section here gets rotated back up. This is a little tight to turn, but there we go. Just rotate that up and just leave that hanging out like that. For now, do the same thing on the other side here. Just untap that, just let that drop, undo this, and swing all of this down like so, and just take this and rotate it up. So now we're gonna take the arms here, just straighten them out and compress them up. Just straighten it out and compress that all the way up. We can take the arms now and just kind of bring them up bring them up. We'll worry about those shoulder pads in a little bit, but just bring everything up like that, just to get things out of the way. Undo these little side sections here. Just bring that out and swing that up. Just untab that and bring that out and swing that up. So now we want to undo the chest here and just pop this up. You now want to swing the arms around to the back with the red facing you. And now you just want to extend her head up on those joints here because now we need to untab this front section here. So we can swing all this forward, straighten this out. And again, you want to rotate this 180 like so. And now you want to get these panels here straightened out and you want these black sections here, these shoulder sections to end up under the cockpit. So just kind of bring them up like that and just kind of get the arms out of the way, get the shoulder pads out of the way as best you can. We'll position those later. But now you want to take this whole thing and bring it up. It helps if you have her head turned around like that. So you can kind of get her head up and over the shoulders like so. And ultimately you want to get her head turn sideways like that and then you can take this and rotate around like that and get that all situated into place and take the center portion and just flip this up like that. Then you can take these wheels here just rotate these sections up so the red is on top you can take these panels here and just bring them back and tap them in bring it back and tab that in right there. So now it is time for leg work. So we can start off by just taking these heels and just flipping them down. We can take the feet and just kind of bring them up a little bit. You want to push on this top section here. Just push on that and it'll undo that wheel. Take this and bring it out to the side and then you can rotate this around and then just close that up like so. Just make sure that's pushed all the way in. Do the same thing on the other side. Just push on this top section here and that will just pop that out. Swing the wheel out to the side. Rotate this section in and then just close up that fin and that will lock that in place. You can then undo this white panel here. Slide that down and close that back up. You can just kind of push this in. It will undo that panel for you. 
you just bring that leg out, same thing here, just undo that, bring it down, bring it back over, just give us a little push, it'll undo that, so you can flip that up. So what's gonna happen now is you wanna flip up this little white section right here. You wanna bring the legs up, and then you just want to rotate all of this down. Make sure the cockpit's not in the way here because it can't get in the way. So we can swing down and this can swing down. And make sure everything clears like that. Once that's done, you can then just close everything up. You can tab these together now if you want to. You can start bringing this up. Get these wheels out of the way so you can take the feet and bring them out to the side. Make sure that's completely out of the way. Swing that out to the side. So you can finish closing that up. You can make sure the wheels are out of the way, like so. And then you're just gonna bring the feet to the back. Bring the feet to the back like that. And then you're going to just bring the toe down and swing the toe over to the side. Bring the toe down and just swing the whole foot over to the side. And then these will just flip down like so. And then you can bring the wheels in for now, like that. So once you have everything straightened out here, you just take the arms, you bring them together, they will tab together up here, and there are tabs that will go into slots in the palms of our hands. So just take that and drop it down, like so. So now to work on the wings, we're just going to take this assembly, just swing it all the way around so that red is facing out. We're going to open this section up, and then you're going to collapse this down. There is a tab that will go into a slot in the side of the form. There's also a tab right in here that will go into a slot right there. Sign everything up and it all should just drop down. Then bring the wheel out and then close this over the wheel like that. Once you've done that, you can just swing this panel in. That landing gear has a little post port connection just right there. And that'll sit like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side here, so just rotate that around, open this up, and just slide this in, and again, just get everything tabbed in where it should. Oops. And of course, everything comes undone because the camera's on. There we go. <laughs> so just drop all that into place like that, bring the wheel out, and then close that up. Flip this panel in, get that landing gear, just to drop into that little post right there for safekeeping, and you got that done. So now you want to take all this and just bring it in. There are some little tab notch connections here that you just have to line up. Again, just bring all that in and make sure everything sits where it's supposed to. These two halves will also tab together right back here so make sure that lines up once you do that you just push that down there are tabs and slots underneath that just locate themselves once you have everything in place there and just get that all nice and pushed together then this panel will close up on this side and this one if it hasn't done for you will just close up on that side and now for these shoulder pads here you want to bring them forward and angle them in and that's how you want that looking there just like that. That's how you want all that oriented. And do the same thing on the other side, like so. And once you've done that, you can take the wheel and bring that in. This panel will just tuck right under. And then the wheel itself will swing in. There's a tab slot connection right there. It'll just lock in. There's also a little, there's like a tab, a little notch. It'll just locate itself right there. And you do the same thing on the other side. Again, just swing that's under swing this under and then just bring that wheel in tab it into place again a little notch a little tab notch connection that happens right in there like that then you just bring these windows down flip out the side view mirrors and there you have red fantasy back in car mode